hi welcome to part two of my paint pour on a vinyl album clock so it's all dry thank god it took two days um for this to dry the paint was pretty thick um i just started the numbers um and i'm gonna finish them with you guys on the back this is all gonna be spray painted but it's, i'm not gonna spray paint this until after um the epoxy resin goes on i'm going to do that whole thing with you as well um so it's kind of going to be a step by step i'm just going to kind of like kind of breeze through <laughs> the video so you're not just like oh just get to it will you man <laughs> all right so here we go we're just going to finish the numbers um normally you guys um i forgot i would i should have spray paint, sprayed this with Mod Podge, um, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm just going to spray paint this whole thing before I epoxy resin um, with Mod Podge. Okay, so, and I will show you what type of Mod Podge and all that stuff after. Okay, all right. So, we got a few. Let me just show you guys up close. It looks like, turned out super pretty. And you guys, yes, I got a buyer that wants this. So I got to do my bestest, bestest, bestest. <laughs> okay. Thank you, by the way. Uh, okay. All right. Down. Can you guys see? Let me push this back a little bit. Ugh. Ugh. So what I'm using is a um just um just um letters and numbers that I got through Amazon. Um and that's all. And they're just they're just stickers, guys. Um I do have like fuzzy ones, but I use them for my coffee mugs. Um I save these ones and my numbers for my clocks. All right, so the way I do this to make sure the numbers are nice and even, I don't know where my ruler is. I lost it, but I just kind of go like this and um, make sure the numbers are even. <laughs> so, oh God, my first clock, my first clock I did a couple years ago, um, the numbers were so uneven and everything. Oh my God, it was a disaster. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go on. So is how how is everyone today? Somebody is definitely like messaging me on my phone. All right, so what do I do with that? Make sure this goes here. We're gonna put that three right here. Sometimes these stickers I can't find my tweezers, and these stickers can be. A bitch for sure um I don't know what I did with my tweezers this is the second time I bought tweezers and I got swear I stuck them in my cup with all my paintbrushes and everything Ugh. so it can be definitely annoying um so we're gonna go put our four up here put four on What's going to look super pretty is when I get that epoxy resin on, I'm also going to put a little bit of shimmer in the epoxy resin. It's going to look absolutely gorgeous. Um, I asked them if they wanted a pretty flower decal. They're just like, nope, just leave it the way it is. So, no, nope. that's it. Follow customer's rules. Okay, let go here. Oh boy, I'm missing my tweezers for sure, for sure. Alright, I'm just gonna take this off. <laughs> I had it propped up and everything. It's not really doing me any good. Alright. Get the five going now. I mean I'm only gonna do I'll do I'm gonna stop this in a minute and um I just kinda wanted to show you. 
you know, kind of like how to get the numbers even and everything. Okay. Right here. Um, I feel like that one's a little bit. Ah! Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Sometimes these stickers come out really good, and sometimes they'll get stuck and peel the paint up. Sometimes it's just a pain in the ass, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I just want to get it right with the rest of the numbers. All right, we'll do the six, and then I'm going to um, stop here, do the rest of the numbers, and come back. And we'll start um, with the epoxy resin. Come on, six. Come on, six or extra. Get this little piece out. The little things in the middle of the numbers, oh, they drive me insane. All right. Oh, tweezers, I really, really miss you. Sorry to keep bugging out about that, but boy, it's so annoying. Because my big fat fingers get in the way. And I want to make sure everything is level. All okay. Okay. So there's the numbers right there. Why do I feel like... Oh, that six is definitely off level. See what I mean? Uh, and that five. Okay. Let me fix the numbers a little bit, and I will be back to you guys. Okay, so here is the numbers. I got to take some off and reposition them. It's kind of a little pain in the butt, but I love doing it. It's fun. So there we go with that. Okay, so now what we're going to do next is I'm going to tape this off a couple um about yeah about an inch and a half of tape to at least come to here uh, i'm going to tape all this off on the back uh with painter's tape a little bit of this and then we will um mix up our epoxy resin so we're just gonna tape it up i'm not gonna waste your time with all this stuff uh, maybe a little bit Maybe a little bit. I'll waste your time a little bit. <laughs> Where's my other thingy? Ah! This is like... No, I think I'm going to move this. Actually, I need this, really. Where's my other... Um, oh, that's all right. All right. I'm not going to put it too much to the edge because if you put it too much to the edge... When the epoxy resin drips, it's going to drip onto the tape. I'm going to trim this, but it's, you can still see a little bit. You don't want that epoxy to get stuck right there. You want it to just drip over the um, sides. Okay, so I'm going to go and do a couple, a couple layers of this. And then I will be back with you guys. Okay, so now we are going to um, get my little silicone cuppy cuppy. I'm just going to spray some alcohol. It doesn't matter. 75%, 90%, 99%, doesn't matter. Um, and just clean out your silicone cups if you ever want to do this. Or if you do do this, you don't have much experience, do this first just to get out any dust particles, anything that may be in there. Okay, so uh, down, move this back. All right, so we're going to do uh do 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 um thirty grams of part A of resin and thirty grams of part B hardener. Um, I'm going to go that route. So 
So I've been watching, I don't know why, like, I've been watching, like, Snooki and, um, Jay, I don't know what, what her name is, um, the other girl from Jersey Shore, <laughs> um, it's pretty good, they have, like, their own little reality show where they're both engaged and Snooki's pregnant and all this other, I don't know, anyways, it's good, kind of, I like watching Jersey Shore, Jersey, bleh, Jersey Shore show. I like the drama. <laughs> I don't like drama in my life, but I like watching drama shows, kind of, like the reality shows. All right, let's get going. I'm talking too much already. All right. Okay. 30 grams of pate. Ugh. Same for part B. I think this is well, like, I mean, I think I mixed a little bit too much, but um, it's always good to be, have a little bit more than less. So, okay, so we're going to mix this up. <sighs> for a couple minutes, just a couple, couple minutes, doesn't take long, this is Nick Pro Resin, um, this is the resin I've been using for the past two years, um, I really actually, mm, let me see, I switched from, I used, I've been used, I used like three different resins, I went from one when I first started, which was just, I even forgot the name of it, and then I went to Art Resin, which is a non-toxic. And then I went to Nick Pro, which is also a non-toxic resin. Um, there are some resins out there that you need definitely need to wear a mask. Make sure your room, even though it has to be at least, mm, I'm going to say 75 and above um, in your, wherever your working area is, it needs to be 75 or above. Uh, room temperature um, so make sure that's all good um, make sure your windows are open your air is on your fan or whatever this I'm not concerned about I've been using this for a good year and a half and everything's been cool it's just the um, rust-oleum sprays the spray paint is what gets me and I'm all out of mass so I normally just take my when I take this and spray the back of it, I'll take it and um, spray it in my bathroom where the fan is on. I don't want to do it out here because I, you know, out my rooms or whatever. I just rather put it in the bathroom where I have my fan on. I can leave it in there. The spray paint dries within five to ten minutes. No biggie. Um, and stuff. So this only takes a couple minutes, guys. Um, not watching the clock. I am going to let this sit for a good five to ten minutes um, because I don't want to lose a lot of my resin. I want it to be kind of warm, kind of thick, and let it drip a little bit, but I don't want to waste a whole lot of it when I spread it out. Okay, so, all right, there it is, 4.42. I'm gonna start for another minute or so. I don't know why I'm not looking at my clock on my laptop. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, next after this, if I can fit it in, um, actually, there's two more videos. Actually, I think I am going to after this video. I'm taking a chance. I don't have a big bucket or anything, um, but I am going to do a hydro dip on a coffee mug um, with some really pretty colors, which I have aside somewhere. I don't know what I did with them. They're around here somewhere. <laughs> I know I had them aside to do it. Okay. So that should be good. All right. Just going to... Spray this with a little bit of alcohol. 
Let the bubbles come to the top. Let it sit for a good five to ten minutes, and I'll be back. Hey guys, um, I forgot to mention. Uh, make sure you spray your whole record with Mod Podge before you do the epoxy resin. If you put epoxy resin on this paint, it's going to smear all the paint right off. Some things I have done, like I've used alcohol inks and let it sit for 24 hours without putting any seal coat over it, and it works. But I'm telling you, I have done records before, and without the Mod Podge, um, it just, it for me, it smeared the paint. I don't know if I did something wrong or whatever, but it's always worked for me. Put the Mod Podge on, spray it, let it sit for 5 or 10 minutes, and then go for it, okay? Alright, I'll be back. Okay, so now we are going to, um, before I put my shimmering glitter in here, I'm just going to put a little bit, uh, I got a request that they wanted um, a little bit of glow in the dark on their clock. So I'm just going to pour a little bit in here. Not too much, not a lot at all. Okay, I'm going to put that aside. Now we're going to take our shimmering glitter. Let's move this out of the way. Ah! This stuff is the bomb diggity. If you ever seen watch my other videos, you guys? Oh my god, this stuff is gorgeous. I use this stuff on almost all my coffee mugs. Unless they don't want any shimmer or pearl looking. Okay, so... Not too much. We don't want to, we want to be able to see the color still. This is just going to give it a little bit of glitter. If now, if I were to put some, woo, that's warming up, guys, warming up. If I were to put some um, white pigment in here um, with this, then it would look like a pearl. But this is just a glitter shine. Um, so you'll be able to see right through it for sure. Don't want a whole lot. Like I said, I only have a little bit on here. Uh, you guys probably won't be able to see it. But um, this is definitely going to take overnight to dry. It is 5 o'clock now. Um, so. Yeah. It's 5 o'clock. So 5 yeah, it's definitely going to be too late. So I will go to probably part three. <laughs> Stay tuned for part three, you guys. All right, so let's get going with this. Um, I definitely want to get our, this is glow in the dark. Um, mica powder. Ugh. I had to wait for the Mod Podge to dry. This is the, this, I for, totally forgot, you guys. So I'm hoping it doesn't affect, um, normally the Mod Podge spray should sit for 24 hours before you apply the epoxy, but I'm hoping, I'm daring myself, that this comes out good. Because if not, I have to do it all over again, get another record, do everything all over again, and yeah, so, ugh. <laughs> um, where's my little spoony spoon? Where did it go? Where did my spoon go? Oh my god. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to use one of these little popsicle sticks. Just give a couple dabs. This is totally clear. Um, so, you won't be able to see it as far as I know. Like, this is the first time I used this one, but I've used other colors, and it just goes on clear. Like, you can see a little bit of tint of color, but not too much. So, all right. Stir this one up. It's getting thick. For some reason, I'm not sure, and a lot of other resin artists just are not sure why the resin heats up in Dixie Cups more than the, um, faster than they do in the silicone. I mean, it could be just a dumb, stupid thing. If anybody knows out there, because I definitely put this on my YouTube and I definitely follow a lot of other resin artists, if 
If you know why it heats up faster in Dixie Cups, you let me know. <laughs> I'm hoping that's enough. I just want to do a little bit more. Okay. I got to definitely get this uh, epoxy on quick. Okay, set that aside. Uh, I'm going to put it over here. Because everything has to be over here because I'm right handed. All right, let's go with this. Let's go. I'm definitely going to um, spray my gloves, wipe them off with some alcohol. Don't want no yuckies on there or anything like that. All right, here we go. Oh, it looks pretty already. Definitely want to get on the outsides. I'm more concerned about the outside. I'm hoping this is enough. That is definitely warm. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But that's what I want because I don't want too much of it to overflow on the sides and waste. So that looks gorgeous, you guys. Oh, man. Make sure the numbers are covered up easily. Okay, this thing is definitely not doing it for me. So I'm going to take this out of here. Oh, put it on here. Just keep this on here. Let it flow off the sides like this. And I can see it a little bit better. Huh. Um, this hole, as you can see, it is, I covered it with, um, the painter's tape on the other side. I'm not too concerned about, um. Uh, Gently cover this. Go very lightly. The numbers have been stuck on there for a good hour and a half right now. I mean, in between when I stop it. So, yeah. Boy, that... That mica powder, oh my god, I can't wait for you guys to see this. It's going to look so pretty. Alright. Make sure everything is good. Switch gloves. After each step, you guys, make sure you switch your gloves. All right, I'll be right back in a second. Okay. Uh, torch, torch. Not too much. Don't get it close to it. Don't get it close to it, you guys. Just very, very, keep it up about four inches, okay? Depends how big your flame is. Mine's big, so I keep it up, like, right about here. All right, so now we're going to sprinkle on our glow in the dark. Just going to put it all over. I'm super excited for this, you guys. <laughs> see, it's, now you can barely see it. It's just like a glow in the dark. I just want to keep going in circular motions. Not going to do too much.
So I can still like put the flashlight on it a little later. Um, I'm going to keep this light flashing on it. And I'm hoping it will definitely shine through. Yeah, I had just enough for everything, you guys. Whew, okay. <laughs> yeah, if I didn't forget to like the montage or whatever, I wouldn't have to be rushing, but okay. There you go. Oh my god. Okay. So I'm gonna try to bring you down so you guys can see the glitter. stuff out of the way all right uh, okay Ugh. you guys see the pretty glitter the shimmer on it so so pretty really really pretty Gorgeous. So I'm hoping you guys seen that. <laughs> All right. And then, like I said, we're going to have to stay tuned for part three um, for tomorrow. All right. All right. See you guys later. Love you guys. Have a good night. Peace.